seat with your hand I got a treat so you see She said, I'm gonna make you my which means I'm actually buying wine I can't get a sample in the U.S. And I did manage to pick up a bottle from a producer where I'm staying, uh, of Vin Sumter. More on that on the blog a bit later. But uh, it's a sweet wine made by drying grapes, in this case up in the attic, and uh, not likely to get a sample of that, so I decided to buy it. Now, I also brought along something I did get a sample of, which is this thing called the Vinny Bag. And I'm going to call it the inflatable wine condom, because that's what it looks like to me. And the idea with this, as I'm sure you probably guessed, is to get this back to the States in my luggage in one piece without spilling its sweet nectar-like sticky contents all over my the inside of my bag. So I think the idea, if I read the instructions properly, is to slip this sucker in here into the condom only to the point where it stops. Squeeze the top, guys, squeeze the top, and then to partially inflate the bag. Call that partially inflated. Pull the bottom, get my seal there, and then roll the sucker up. This is the part where it gets a little more complicated than a condom. Latch this guy up there. I don't know if I pull it tight or not. Let's see. And then inflate the rest of the bag. Do not over inflate. So there you have it. It's like the bottle's in a protective sort of condom bubble. And the next time I talk to you on this video, I'll be unpacking my luggage, which hopefully arrives the same time I do back in Philly, and we'll let you know how this worked. All right, hey, so I'm back at the homestead with, uh, with my lovely. Say hi, Bruno. Yeah. Anyway, um, so let's see how this uh, mini bag fared. We took uh, we took this bag, left it in the car in various spots of Tuscany, and uh, we also uh, drug it across the streets of Siena and subjected it to two DA flights. Uh, including a stint in Terminal 5. So here it is, along with my socks. Looks in good shape. All right? Doesn't look like anything's wrong there. And so we will commence wine condom deflation in three, two, one. We have wine condom deflation in Houston. All right, so we're going to get the bag, get most of the air out of this bag here. Pop this open and see how we fare. Like I said, no damage. But one of the cool things about having air in this bag is that I think, uh, or at least according to vinnybag.com, it should help protect the wine from uh, temperature differentiation. I mean, you know, you can't leave it out 98 degree heat baking in the sun in your car. But you know, looking at this, looking good. I mean, doesn't look like there's any leakage. I mean, the bottle looks like it's in really good shape. So. I would say the new bag is pretty well recommended. I'm going to be bringing this on a couple other sojourns and, and trying it out, uh, maybe with bigger bottles, and we'll see. But um, looks looks really good, so I'd say uh, give it a whirl. Cheers. <laughs> She's always right by my side.